Um, I think it went great. I, I can't I can't say nothing went bad. I mean, we've been waiting to look for this fight and we fought and we kept fighting and that's that's what Coach Duffy been looking for us this whole time and it's, and now it's there and now we got it and now we gotta keep going through it and I'm so proud of them. Everybody from one through thirteen, including myself. I'm I'm proud of everybody, man. Yeah, Danny, it's been like a crazy couple of weeks for you guys. You were on pause, and then you had the big game against UConn, and you canceled, and then you kind of struggled against Creighton, and then this wild game today. Just how how has your group kind of stayed mentally sharp throughout this whole like last couple of weeks? Um, I think we just had a good faith. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it was a little tough for a lot of us because some of us was out, some of us was practicing, but I think the team that was practicing, the group that that kept practicing. They kind of gave the team that was off motivation to just keep going and we all gonna be back together and everything gonna go smooth and we just had to keep knowing that if we if we okay then everything gonna be fine everything gonna work out the loss to Creighton kind of hit us hard and we knew that we had to come back and set the tone of who of who we are like we wear this across our shirts every single day like we got to show people who we really are like you know this was your first game of the DePaul Marquette rivalry with home fans it seems like you're the energy driver of this team. You kind of feed into it a little bit. How much did the fan atmosphere help today? I love fans. Um, I'm not going to lie. I, I like getting people going. I like if it's an off game, I'm going to be the one there to hype up everybody. Like I, I live for that. I'm, I'm used to fans. Everybody, all of them are used to fans. So I never got fans last year. So I'm going to embrace this moment. Um, I'm here for it. You finished with a double double, twelve points, ten rebounds. You hit an early three when you came off the bench. What was what did you see for yourself offensively today? They did not respect my shot. And I was gonna make people stand on that that I could shoot too. So I that's all I gotta say. I'm I'm gonna make people respect my shot. If they don't respect that, then I'm gonna drive it, but What's been the biggest thing for you this season to come off the bench, you're putting up the numbers and contributing? Is it you're just the game is now slowing down to you. You feel a little more comfortable in the rotation. I, I feel very comfortable in the rotation, and like I said before, I want to be that spark off the bench. So me being that spark and me helping the team is really all I need. I I said before, like it takes time and patience. Like I know when my time coming, and I know when I can contribute to the team, and I think I got to keep doing that in order to be this successful for myself and the team. So. It seemed like you guys got the big emotional victory on Louis' shot at the end of regulation, and then they, you know, long pause, and then it's taken away. How, how does your group kind of respond to, for the extra five minutes to get the, the win today? That dub uh, right there, that that hard work right there, that that keep going. Coach Duffy broke us down and said it's it's another fight. It, it's not over. It's another fight. So we're gonna keep pushing and we're gonna keep going until we see zero zero. So. You spoke about yourself being a spark. Uh, Jordan had two fouls early, and then you really were that spark. What led to that? Is it just like sort of your personality, or your teammates finding you for open shots, or? Um, I truly think it's my defense. Really, my defense kind of helps a lot of people like get going. Um, Jay with the two fouls, I think, you know. Hmm. That's a really good question, but I, I, I honestly think that just having Jay with those two fouls and then me coming out still picking up that energy and then Jay coming back out and having the same amount of energy, I think that was just perfect. Perfect offense, perfect defense, nothing went wrong. Carissa had 11 points in overtime. What can you, what did she see? What did you see for her? Um, We seen in halftime she wasn't shooting enough, so we got to get her open shots. Uh, we, we expect Riz to keep shooting the ball because we know how hot she could get. So looking for her more often was a big key to stepping into the third and fourth quarter.